on the road to Molly Wind Tunnel to uh, work with Kelly Moss. Uh, they are running our dual element on a GT3 Cup car. I think it's a GT3 Cup car. Yeah, I believe it's 996. 996, 997 GT3 Cup car. We're going to find out here soon. But um, yeah, that's what we're doing. It is Saturday, 5 a.m. Heading to the wind tunnel. Troy, Michigan. Troy, Michigan. What's up, guys? It's uh, Eric with Ferris Engineering, and we are at the Mali wind tunnel with Kelly Moss doing uh, some testing on our dual element on their uh, GT3 Cup car. Let's get to it. All right, we are on test seven at the Mali Mali wind tunnel. Kelly Moss GT3 hanging out in the tunnel as it ramps up to 80 miles per hour, give or take. That's our dual element, pretty cool. We're up to test 10 now. Corona life. Dude, that is so cool. And it's not even going fast. Yeah. It likes to stick the faster it goes. So. Yeah. Alright guys, we are on like run 22 or something. We lowered the nozzle. So it's gonna shoot up to about 130 miles per hour. Uh, and we're just gonna basically see what the numbers are at 130 over uh, 80. Guys, we just finished up the wind tunnel test on our dual element and single element on the Kelly Moss. Faster pastor. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best play. It's not working out. Uh, but anyways, we learned some stuff. Uh, we'll probably go over a recap of what we learned sometime here shortly. Um, probably once we're back in the office and Paul looks at the data a little bit better. But overall, fun trip and pretty cool. Yeah, it is. We're also bringing back a wing for another project. That's cool, and I don't know what else to say. What else should we talk about? It's a wing it's inside a wing. the Supra. From a Porsche. From a Porsche. Peace out, guys. We'll do some other stuff later. Yeah.